In this video, I'm going to swap the main jet on my super cheap Amazon carburetor for the Predator 212 Harbor Freight motor. Go kart. My hope here is to have a little bit better throttle response when I slam on the gas. The way I drive my go-kart, it's really just full throttle or no throttle. But what we're gonna be doing today is the main jet, which is where most of the fuel comes from. And when you change the main jet, it has the biggest effect at full throttle. What I'm gonna do for starters is just go up one size and see what kind of throttle response I get. First thing I gotta do is drain the gas out of it and remove the float bowl. Just for fun, I ran some compressed air through the jets, make sure they were clear, because I was having some issues getting things started after a week of sitting. And uh, next, just take out the jet. This main jet is a size L95. I'm gonna go get it. One size bigger. So I'm gonna go for the 98, which is one size up. So this is what the jets look like. The number that's etched into the side of the jet, not sure if you can see that, indicates how big that hole is. So the bigger the hole, the more fuel you get. Depending on the carburetor, that'll just screw right into your emulsion tube. Into the carb. And this is a rare time where I don't have to take the carburetor off. And put this back together. Let's turn the fuel on. The drain plug is still open. So. Time to take it for a test drive. I'm just a grown man on a weekday in his front yard driving a go-kart. Here we go. So after ripping around in my road a little bit and getting dust all over my poor neighbor's houses, I did feel a little bit of a difference in the throttle response. It just seemed like the motor wasn't struggling as much to get up to speed. You know, when I'm doing those donuts, I'm in full throttle the whole time. And even though the motor's bogging down, it seemed like it was keeping up a little bit better than it was with the previous jet. And I could go up a size, but for right now, I'm pretty happy with the way it's running. But maybe if I was gonna experiment, I would probably maybe go up another size, test drive it again, maybe go back. You know, there's like a more legit way to do this, which would be like checking your plugs and doing a bunch of things I don't never done before and I don't care about because it's working. If you guys want to watch more go-kart stuff, I do have a 45 horsepower motor that I'm going to be swapping out after I did all this work. So that go-kart's going to be really fast. Maybe on that carburetor, I'll pay more attention. Who knows? It's going to be super fun. So stick around. Bye.